everyone, this is Victor Lager from the Division of Laura Lee and you're watching Big Five for Premier Guitar. What's my favorite guitar? Well, this is a Fender Jazzmaster. It's pretty new. I think it's from 2019. It's a, I think it's called US Original 65. It has a master bridge, stay trim, trim alarm. Otherwise, it's uh, pretty much stock. It's going to get a uh, DiMarcio Firebird pickup here, but it takes a long time to get a, a, a when you order a new pickup from a Swedish music store at the moment. I don't know why. Maybe because of the war, because of the pandemic. I don't know. But last I've heard, it's here in five weeks. I actually saw a picture of, I think it was Jay Maskis who had uh, put uh, Firebird pickups in a jazz master. So I, I thought for myself, oh, well, I'm going to try that. That is something different. I haven't seen that before. So I, I actually got a custom pickup ring that's formed like the casing for this pickup. So you just put the, the Firebird pickup in. So it, it looks like a jazz master pickup, but it has the a big silver fiber pickup in the middle. The stay trim bar is great because uh, the arm stays in place. You can tighten it uh, underneath here. If you take off the, the the vibrato, you can tighten it. And the master bridge is a game changer, of course. But if you're into jazz masters, this is the first upgrade you should do. What's my Desert Island album? I picked an album that, I, that was released in 2001. It's... Um, Silver Bullet, the album is called Citizen Bird. It's a Swedish band. This is the best rock album that Sweden has ever produced. It's spectacular. I've listened to it continuously since it was released. Think about like Studious meets Spiritualized meets My Bloody Valentine, but has this own thing also, of course. It's a big, big influence for the vision of Laura Lee. What's my biggest guitar culture pet peeve? Well, I don't know. Uh, people buying expensive gear, not using it to play live. I don't know. Which guitar hero of mine might shock fans of the vision of Laura Lee? I'm not that into like metal and hard rock, but I have a soft spot for Ed Van Halen. He is, uh, of course, one of the greatest of all times. Maybe the greatest, I don't know. I listen to most of the Van Halen stuff. Also the Van Hager stuff. Uh, I love it. The tone and the playing, it's so playful and the songs are great. Maybe not the vocals is my favorite thing all the time, but the guitar playing is unbeatable. What's my secret weapon? Uh, in a live situation, it's always about energy. You have to bring energy to get energy from the crowd and you can bounce from each other. That's the most important for me when playing live. I don't care how the guitar sounds. If you come up on stage with no energy, you can I mean, you can go home. For playing guitar, secret weapon, I don't know. I practiced a lot when I was young. all Every day, all the time, so many hours. You go, uh, If you want to be a good guitar player, there's no... You can't like uh, learn it from YouTube. You have to sit down, sit on your ass and practice, practice, practice. And it's not going to be fun all the time, but you're going to notice, especially if you're young, you're going to notice that you're getting better pretty fast and play along with your favorite songs and go check out other bands and talk to people, hang out in music stores and stuff like that. That's the biggie.